wait a minute. Dodge presents the Chevrolet Camaro and the Pontiac Firebird. Oh ho! Dodge presents the Camaro and Firebird with a challenge. A challenge from, of course, the all new sports compact, the brilliant, exciting Dodge Challenger. And there's Miss Challenger getting ready to stir up some action. There's a little autumn nip in the air, and she knows that in the fall, a young man's fancy feverishly turns to thoughts of new wheels. <laughs> You're so right. Even Charlie has the new car bug. His 69 Camaro is all paid for, so he's heading for the Chevy dealership. Going to get himself a brand new 70 Camaro, if they offer him any kind of a deal at all. Poor Charlie. He's in for a jolt when he talks to the Chevy salesman who tells him that the new Camaro is just the 69 car with a 70 tag, and that Charlie will have to wait till sometime next year for the real 70 model to come out. Hell of a note. I like to have one of the first new cars on the street. Who wants to wait for months and be the tail end Charlie with a 70? Not this Charlie. And from the other side of town comes another 69 owner with visions of 70 dancing in his head. Yep. Freddy can hardly wait to swap for a brand new Firebird. But like Charlie, he's heading for a letdown. When the Pontiac salesman tells him to hang on to a 69 until next year, when the real 70 Firebirds will start coming off the line. Big deal. Be one of the first in town on a 70 and a half or 70 and two thirds or whatever. Well, that's a long wait for a bird in the bush anyway. So Charlie and Fred drive unhappily homeward, frustrated, with even stronger pangs of new car fever now that they've been denied the cure. But as they wait on opposite sides of this intersection, who should come wheeling through but Miss Challenger? And in the sportiest, seventiest compact on the road, Challenger. Boys will be boys. New Challenger. Yours? Great. Hey, m my name's Freddy. Everybody calls me Firebird Freddy because I buy a new Firebird every year. Well, at least I did. Hello there, Miss America. This your... Miss Challenger's the name. And yes, this is my new Dodge Challenger. Now, who are you? Uh, Camaro Charlie, they call me, because every fall I used to buy a new Camaro. Now, to make a short story shorter, let me summarize the general drift of this conversation. Miss Challenger is saying... You both could be Challenger material. A shocking thought for dyed-in-the-wool Camaro and Firebird habit buyers. Can Challenger meet this challenge? Oh, come on, you two. You're all uptight. Now's the time to kick the habit. Gotta admit, this car is something else. Face it, Fred, this challenger outshines your bird, and we're going to see why. Now, these are car-hip kids, mind you. They know what to look for. Well, there's no contest in grill treatment. Only the challenger grill has a new and different look. Our grills look good, but hardly new, and my single lights don't help. Challenger looks wide. Two inches wider than both your cars. But, of course, it can't match my Pontiac wide track. Would you settle for three-tenths of an inch less in front to gain seven-tenths in the rear, uh, where it does more good? Ha, huh, you waded into that one, Fred. Hey, I guess that means Challenger beats my hugger's track front and rear, right? Right. Your hugger is out-hugged. Firebird's a little lower. Camaro's highest, which makes Challenger the happy medium. Uh, how about headroom inside? Within three-tenths of an inch of both of you in back, and beats both of you by more than an inch up front. This black molding is one Firebird feature I hope Challenger doesn't have. Yuck! Oh, oh, see for yourself. Clean lines, no seams. This optional bright cowl surround molding is available on all models, and... Challenger's clean design never quits. The concealed wipers are a good example. Slick! Yeah, our wipers all hang out. They do the job, though. Oh, sure. But notice, both of your blades are driven in a simple arc by a single arm. So aren't everybody's? Challenger takes you out of the everybody rut, fellas. Look, 
this articulated wiper arm fans out the sweeping arc, gives the driver a visibility bonus. Now let's check the profiles. Fred, your Firebird and Challenger are nearly identical in length. You lose by two-tenths of an inch. But Challenger has a 111-inch wheelbase. Well, I'll be. Mine's only 108 and a tenth. How petty can you get? My Camaro has a 108-inch wheelbase, so Fred has to lord that extra tenth of an inch over me. Anyway, we'll both have to concede that Challenger's longer wheelbase would deliver a smoother ride. To go with the smoother profile. But there's more to the ride story. Camaro has a coil spring front suspension, right, Charlie? Yep. Firebird likewise, right, Fred? Right. But what front springs does GM put on its expensive Cadillac Eldorado? Torsion bars, of course, like on some top European sport luxury models. And Challenger has torsion bars up front, too, for true sports car control and handling. All three cars have rear leaf springs. So uh, let's move up to the last word in door openers. Challenger's new paddle-type handle with integrated key lock. Handy. Dandy. Firebird and Camaro have a ways to go to catch up. Okay, but I'll stack my Firebird's rear styling against anybody's. Any criticism, Miss Challenger? Very attractive. And except for the bumper, it's kind of skimpy. I think Camaro looks all right from here, don't you? Yes, Charlie. And I think both of you will like my, uh, my Challenger's rear styling. Gee, that is clean. And different, like newer looking than ours. That's because yours have been around a while, fellows. This is newer. And Fred, come on up front. How's this for heads-up styling? Deep contoured door panel. Armrest is recessed. Molded right in. Hey, I like. New style paddle grip door handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and what's that little lever in the armrest? Door locking lever, see? It replaces the old push button that used to sit on top of the door. Yes, like it still does on your Firebird. And your armrest and hardware still have that look of the 60s. So do you, baby. Challenger's way ahead of you both in bucket seat design, too. See how these head restraints are built and styled right into the seat back, not separate as they still are on... My Camaro. And my bird. Well, at least it has head restraints, so it's a draw on safety. On this point, yes. But Challenger's new unibody has extra protection for passengers. Strong steel beams in the doors to guard against side impact and another rugged steel structure in the roof in case of a rollover. Your cars have nothing comparable and... Sports car lovers, you of all drivers would appreciate Challenger's instrumentation. A clean layout, easy to read, with real honest-to-gosh gauges for fuel, temperature, alternator, and oil pressure. I can't come close. My bird has a fuel gauge, but only idiot lights for temperature, alternator, and oil pressure. Same deal on my Camaro. Hey, I know you win good in front seat headroom, honey, but how about leg room? Yeah, and shoulder room. All three cars are within three-tenths of an inch on those dimensions, so let's settle for a draw. But looky here. I'm not claiming that this rear compartment is Grand Central Station, but Challenger does give over an inch more leg room than your cars, and about three inches more shoulder room. And there are armrests. Well, Charlie, at least we have the armrests. Uh, yeah, buddy. Uh, armrests I ain't got, but knee rests I got. Ooh. It's pretty obvious now. If Charlie and I don't swing the Challenger, we'll be on the short end of the stick. Especially on the power end of the shift stick. Hey, gal, you're treading on thin ice now. Camaro offers six engines, all the way from a 230 cube 6 to a 396 V8 that puts out 325 horses. And Firebird gives a choice of seven mils from a 250 cube 6 right on up to the 400 Ram Air 4 V8. 345 horses. Can you match that spread of power? By now, I'm beginning to believe she can. You'd better believe it, boys. Engine-wise, no car in the industry outranges Challenger. A choice of nine power plants, from a 225 cube slant six to a full 440 cubes in a six-pack or magnum. 
And if you're crazy over horses, how about 425 from a hell for leather Hemi? That tears it. From today on, I will be known as Challenger, Charlie. Challenger has doused your fire, but good, Ember Bird. Well, what do you know? They both made a beeline to get a Dodge good guy's ear. They are Challenger material, but then... Doesn't everybody admire a Challenger who goes all out to win? 